What's up guys and gals, it's your boy Jeff, coming back to you with another episode of CCW Cantonese Comic Wednesdays. Well, if you survived episode 1 through 6, welcome to episode 7. Hope you guys are ready. Alright guys, before I get started, you guys already know the drill. I'm going to shout out my local LCS, Nerd Out Comics. Glenn, Tim, Mikey, for always uh, hooking me up, for always looking out for me, for always hooking me up with new independent number ones. But for always telling me to check out some new stuff. Always, uh, always love that. So if you guys are ever in the Tampa Bay area, go check these guys out. Nerd Out Comics. Alright guys, before let's get started. My first on the reading pile. The main reason this is on top, because it's a magazine sized, is Amber Blake. It's a recommendation from Tim. Or from, uh, if you guys want to know his YouTube name, it's Mylar Madness. So, this was his, uh, Mylar Madness's recommendation, and I'm going to really probably enjoy it. The way he explained it was, she actually gets recruited to like a CIA type spy school, a special school for spies. But some major stuff happens inside the school, and she's going to try to take down that school. So that's pretty interesting. That, that explanation was for, for you guys and Perry, since Perry's going to be picking this up, new number one up. And it's actually a uh, magazine sized. So here's the book. Here's a clo better look at the cover. Next, uh, you guys already know the next book on my list probably. We're reading to Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, issue 2. The Mike Crone cover. They only, well my shop only picked up two covers. It's the Mike Crone. Because I'm mainly the only one that really reads Lady Death at the shop, so. Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Mike Crone. And the Billy Tucci cover. And the next thing on my list was Young Justice on DC side. Young Justice, Dan Mora cover. I really, I really love this Dan Mora cover. I really, this is going to be my cover of the week. I know everybody else is either going to be this Lucio Perillo, Green Lantern, or the Lutz, uh, or, or the Alex Ross, uh, Alex Ross Immortal Hulk issue 16 cover. But I really like this cover. But I'm, I'm just going to go different because everybody else is going to probably going to pick one of these two cover, one of those two covers. I'm going to go with Young Justice issue four, the. The Dan, the Dan Mora. And some major stuff happened in this book. So I'm really excited to read this too. The next book on DC's list. Is the Green Lantern. Lucio Perillo cover. Here's this. And here's a better look at it. And then I have a new number one. From... Amigo Comics. If you guys don't know who Amigo is, Amigo is the one that comes out with Straight Jacket, with all all these cool, really cool horror books. And uh, they actually write Apocalyptic Girl. There's a, a couple of characters they have. One's called Apocalyptic Girl, and one's called uh, Nancy from he Nancy in Hell. So these two are gonna be crossing over in this book. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. So this is the new number one from Amigo. And then another Scout comic in my pile. Uh, I didn't even know Shadowplay came out. So Shadowplay issue three. Then from Dynamite. Hacks Last versus Chaos Comics. I thought this was a cool cover too. Pretty excited to read this. And I didn't even know this came out. Super Sense issue 9. I think this cover's really cool too. And then the variants I picked up were a Mortal Hulk, the Alex Ross cover, but I'm going to end up reading it too. Thought this this is one of my f Well, I have a lot of favorite covers this week. But I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go with. The, 
the Dan Mora cover besides the Alex Ross because everybody else is going to pick Alex Ross. I mean, Alex Ross is my favorite artist too. So I'm I'm actually stuck in between these two guys and uh, Lucio Perillo. So I'm stuck in between three. But I know probably Comic Head, everybody else is going to go with Alex Ross cover. I'm going to go with the Dan Mora cover. Alright guys, and then what I enjoyed reading last week, Star Bastard from Scout Comics. You guys knew I enjoyed it because I made a review. The next book I enjoyed reading, Foam Paris by Colin Bunn. So I think some major stuff is going to happen in issue 9 because the, the end of this issue was pretty really good. So I can't wait until the next issue. Detective Comics 1000, I actually enjoyed it. The, my favorite story in here was the Jim Lee and Kevin Smith story. That was my favorite story in this book. And the one that uh, I'm still on the fence about, Heroes in Crisis, issue 7. I was still confused after this, so... I mean, I'm like I said, there's only two issues left. I'm staying with it, but I'm still really confused, guys. So I hope they explain more in 8 and I hope they finish it off strong because it was really confusing still. It, the major, the two books that I'm probably going to do reviews on is Amber Blake and this crossover number one by Amigo Comics for the Apocalyptic Girl versus Nancy in Hell. So those are the two books I'm going to be probably doing reviews on. So keep a lookout for those videos. And then another, some, some great news on my side. Uh, one of my favorite horror, one of my favorite horror writers is actually getting hit their, getting their show on AMC. If you guys didn't know, Joe Hill is actually getting a show on, Nosferatu X is actually getting on AMC. And that's really exciting for me because this was one of my favorite horror books and he's one of my favorite horror writers. If you guys don't know who Joe Hill is, Joe Hill is actually uh, Stephen King's son. So keep a lookout on you on my channel because I'm going to probably do a video about, about Nosferatu, explaining what Nosferatu, who Nosferatu is, what Nosferatu is, so you guys will get a better understanding of the AMC video, AMC movie. AMC show, so be a look, be on the lookout. But big thing is, before you read this, he actually came out with a comic. It, it, it's actually a prequel. It's actually before the before the book takes place. It explains. It's actually called Rafe. It's this. So this actually comes before. This actually comes before this. So you have to read this before you read this. But you don't have to. But because the show is probably going to take place in this universe and not this part of it and then probably next the season after that is probably going to be this so one of my favorite writers and then the other fit other other favorite book he did that i really enjoyed horror book and i enjoyed was lock and key by him all right guys let's get to this cantonese word of the day the cantonese word is dragon so long dragon long dragon long this the sentence is I see a dragon more kind of long more long I see a dragon more kind of long more kind of more long and then for Charlie and Kate, it's going to be boy. Lam. Jai. So Charlie and Kate, your word is boy. Lam. Jai. Ngo. Hai. Lam. Jai. I am a boy. That's the sentence. Ngo. Hai. Lam. Jai. Ngo. Hai. Lam. Jai. 
So the word was, this week, the Cantonese word was dragon. So, long. And for Charlie and Kate, it was boy, lam jai. All right, guys, you know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, signing out.